spiritual warfare is a concept that has been present in many religious traditions. It refers to the struggle between good and evil, light and darkness in the spiritual realm. This battle is believed to be fought on a daily basis, impacting the lives of individuals and society as a whole. In spiritual warfare, individuals are seen as soldiers fighting against the forces of evil. This battle is not fought with physical weapons, but rather with spiritual tools such as prayer, faith, and righteousness. It is a constant struggle to live a life that is aligned with the values and teachings of one's faith while resisting the temptations and negative influences that are believed to originate from the spiritual realm. The concept of spiritual warfare is not limited to any specific religious group as similar beliefs can be found in Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and other faith traditions. The idea is that there are spiritual forces at work, both good and evil, that influence human behavior and the course of events in the world. Those who engage in spiritual warfare often seek protection through rituals, prayers, and the use of sacred texts. They believe that by aligning themselves with the forces of good, they can resist the influence of evil and contribute to the spiritual well-being of themselves and others. Some may view spiritual warfare as a metaphor for the internal struggle between one's higher and lower impulses. Others see it as a more literal battle between angels and demons or between the forces of God and Satan, regardless of the specific interpretation. The underlying message of spiritual warfare is one of vigilance, perseverance, and the belief in the ultimate triumph of good over evil. In conclusion, spiritual warfare is a deeply rooted concept in many religious traditions, reflecting the ongoing struggle between good and evil in the spiritual realm. It serves as a reminder for individuals to remain steadfast in their faith and to actively resist the negative influences that are believed to stem from the spiritual realm. By engaging in spiritual warfare, believers seek to align themselves with the forces of good and contribute to the spiritual well-being of themselves and others. Are you facing an internal battle? How oh, that seems overwhelming and never-ending. Are you struggling with doubts, fears, and temptations that seem to have a stronghold on your life? If so, take heart, for you are not alone. The scriptures are filled with powerful verses that serve as weapons in the spiritual warfare that we all face. These scriptures provide us with the guidance and strength we need to stand firm in the face of adversity and to overcome the schemes of the enemy. Ephesians 6.12 reminds us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil and the heavenly realms. This verse serves as a powerful reminder that our battle is not merely physical or emotional, but it is a spiritual battle that requires spiritual weapons. We must arm ourselves with the full armor of God, including the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. One of the most powerful weapons we have in spiritual warfare is the Word of God itself. Hebrews 4.12 tells us that the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit. It can discern the thoughts and intentions of the heart. As we meditate on memorize and declare the scriptures, we are wielding a powerful weapon that has the ability to break down strongholds and set us free from the enemy's grip. In James 4, 7, we are instructed to submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from us. This scripture reminds us that we have the authority and power to stand against the enemy and that when we do, so in the name of Jesus, he must flee. We are not powerless in the face of spiritual warfare, but rather we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to stand firm and resist the enemy's attacks. As we face the battles of life, let us not forget the promise of 1 John 4, 4, 
which tells us that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. No matter what challenges or obstacles we may face, we can rest in the assurance that the power of God within us is greater than any power that comes against us. So let us take heart in the scriptures that remind us of our authority, our strength, and our victory in Christ. Let us arm ourselves with the full armor of God and wield the sword of the Spirit to overcome the spiritual warfare that we face. With the Word of God as our guide and our shield, we can stand firm in the face of the enemy, knowing that ultimately, the battle has already been won. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in this time of spiritual warfare, let us come together in prayer to combat the forces of darkness that seek to harm and destroy us. It is crucial that we arm ourselves with the powerful weapon of prayer and call upon the name of the Lord to protect us from evil. Let us begin by putting on the full armor of God. As mentioned in the book of Ephesians, we must fasten the belt of truth around our waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. We must always be ready to spread the gospel of peace, for it is only through faith in God that we can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the uh, evil one. As we stand firm in the faith and take up the shield of faith, let us also take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. With these spiritual weapons, we can defend ourselves against the attacks of the enemy and be ready to stand our ground. In our prayers, let us plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves, our families, and our communities. We must ask for God's protection against all forms of wickedness and deception. Let us pray for the strength to resist temptation and the wisdom to discern the schemes of the devil. We must also intercede on behalf of others who are facing spiritual battles. Let us lift up those who are oppressed, afflicted, or struggling with their faith. Through our prayers, we can be a source of strength and encouragement to our brothers and sisters in need. Furthermore, we must pray for those who are actively engaged in spiritual warfare on the front lines, such as missionaries, pastors, and Christian leaders. Let us ask God to grant them boldness, discernment, and protection as they spread the message of hope and salvation. Finally, let us not underestimate the power of praise and worship in spiritual warfare as we lift our voices in adoration and exaltation of God. The enemy's grip is loosened and his plans are thwarted. Let us declare the victory of Christ and claim the promises of God over our lives and our circumstances. With these spiritual warfare prayers, let us stand united in faith and perseverance. May the Lord strengthen us and equip us for every battle that lies ahead. Let us not be afraid, for greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.